Hi everyone and welcome to the Qualitative Election Study of Britain's Election Night Special Vlog. I'm Christy. I'm Edzia. And we're going to close out our vlog tonight with one of the fun questions we asked our participants. Probably actually the only fun question we, mm -hmm. <laughs> we asked them. Yeah. We wanted to have some fun. But we asked them which, if they were to um, be stuck in a lift with one of the party leaders, um, who would they want to be stuck in the lift with and who would they not want to be stuck in the lift with and instead of going through like all of the leaders and say what percentage of people wanted to be stuck with David Cameron or Nicola Sturgeon we found it more interesting the reasons why people wanted to spend time or not spend time with certain party leaders so that's what we're going to talk about with you today what attracted the uh, some people to the idea of spending time with some people rather than others and the common themes in terms of why people would not want to spend time with party leaders so in terms of the positives, what were some of the reasons people gave as to why they wanted to be stuck in an elevator with someone and whom was an often an illustration of that point? Well, some people said, if I'm going to be stuck in a lift for two hours, I might as well have a good time. Um, so I'm going to go with a leader who I'm going to have a good time with or who's going to be fun to be around. And of course, that was Nigel Farage. He was the most popular. Yes. People thought they'd have a good laugh with him and that he'd be a regular kind of bloke and you could have, yeah, just sort of like a, an amusing conversation. Yeah. Um, other people said, um, I would like to get to know somebody. So, th because perhaps I just don't know them enough. And so Natalie Bennett and Leanne Wood came up as leaders um, who people would like to get to know better. But on the other hand, some people, some of our participants said that I would actually try, I would want to try and understand what these leaders are saying. Uh, do they really believe? Where are they coming from? Yeah, do, do they really believe what they're saying? I can't, I mean, I can't get my head around these leaders. And so uh, the leaders that they highlighted were uh, David Cameron, Nicola Sturgeon, and Nigel Farage yeah. as well, again. Um, Nick Clegg came up. Um, and Nick Clegg, if you're listening, you might actually find this quite interesting because people said that they would have a good conversation with you. Uh, they would that they thought that Nick Clegg was a nice guy, and so spending two hours in a lift with him would be a time well spent. Um, Nicola Sturgeon, especially in Scotland, people said that they wanted to spend time with her because they liked her a lot. Some people said that they found her comforting, mm -hmm. and so spending two hours with her would be absolutely lovely. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of people, or more than a couple, but some people said that they wanted to lobby mm -hmm. the leader. So they wanted actually to get their policies out. They wanted to act like a lobbyist. And that they felt uh, lobbying David Cameron and Ed Miliband in a lift would be a good way to spend two hours. And then finally, we had some people say, which leader would be useful in a crisis? Right. So which leader would yeah. they think? Would like, be well, useful? if it was if I was stuck with Cameron, they'd probably have the SAS come in and <laughs> rescue us both. So we wouldn't actually be in the lift for two hours. So I want to be trapped with David Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the range of responses that we got in terms of who would you want to be stuck with in an elevator or lift for two hours. Yeah. So part of it was intellectual and part of it was emotional. Yeah. And generally, in terms of the negatives, it was all emotional. It, the, the sort of the off-putting things about why you couldn't stand to be in an elevator. So some people said, I just could not be in an elevator with, two, in a, with uh, that person or a lift for two hours because one of us would not walk out. <laughs> and the people most associated with that view was Cameron, Farage and Sturgeon. Yeah. Another reason why people gave that they would not want to be trapped in an elevator was that they thought the person would be really boring and dull. And Natalie Bennett and Leanne Wood were two names that came up in association with that rationale. <laughs> Another reason why people gave for not wanting to be stuck in a lift for two hours was just a pet peeve. Something about that candidate that they just drove them nuts. So with Ed Miliband, his voice being very nasally was listed as by participants. They also um, could not stand, like um, they said they couldn't be in the same room as Nigel Farage because he was smoking. They thought uh, David Cameron was too smarmy um, and you couldn't believe anything he said. You're like, I wouldn't want to be with him. And also Nigel Farage had some of that in terms of his policies. I find those odious. 
there was an, a, an element where they wouldn't want to spend time with them because they wouldn't feel like they had anything in common with them. And David Cameron was a person they associated as being so out of touch that you actually just couldn't have a conversation with him for two hours because you come from completely different worlds. And then a last criticism would be, uh, I didn't want to be struck, stuck with this leader because they'd be absolutely useless in a crisis, and that was Ed Miliband. Yeah. So uh, we don't know what you uh, decided in terms of who you would and wouldn't want to be stuck with in an elevator for two hours. You can put your comments in the description box below if you'd like to carry on this conversation. Yeah. But other than that, this is the last video. So we hope that this has helped you spend time on the election night, passing the time while the election's results roll in. And anything else from you? No. Nothing else for me. So, so yeah, I was just going to say subscribe to our Facebook page, our Twitter account, our YouTube our channel, YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> our, our study vlog, and um, links to all of that will be in the description box below. Yeah. So thanks for watching. I'm Edzia. And I'm Christy. And we'll see you guys hopefully in the post-election vlog uh, when we hit the road again, uh, the 11th, starting 11th or 12th of May. Bye. Bye.